everybody, and welcome back, or welcome to the One Way Heroics Plus English Edition. Not the Japanese version, which I've been playing for like so many playthroughs now, and I'm really actually caught back by the music that plays at the beginning here. I've never really noticed it before, and sure enough, it's pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool. Of course, with my ever temperamental uh, controller going to try and uh, reduce it a little bit. But yes, welcome to One Way Heroics Plus, the English version. Now I don't know how much, how new this is going to be for many of you since this has been released quite some time now. Just I haven't really jumped on playing this game lately. It's because I've already played the Japanese one for so long. So, you know, there are going to be a lot of things that you know, I find out here that are is a bit different. But aside from that, let's just jump into it and play something now. So let's see, we have let's see, Queen Queen Freda. So that's good if we want to get some holy items, I guess. And let's see, so she's spotted 20 hours walking distance. All right, that's good to know. Let's see, keep fighting for one whole week, now head off to Dimension, blah blah blah, world that only changes once per week. Alright, that's interesting. Blown away a lot, so we've did, we've done that before. Knockback Galaxy, essentially. Far too strong, so... They're pretty much boss level. Every single thing, including doors and treasure chests, are all boss level. So it takes a, quite a bit to actually break them up. So let's do saving uh, Queen Frida here, and we are going to be playing as the um, hero, just because it's kind of essentially, it's a class that's pretty easy to win with most of the time. And as always, we talk to uh, the king himself, the king, the mighty king. And I do have the wrestler perk and um, a perk to actually increase my critical hit rate um, chance. So we got that going for us, and let me just kind of distance this headset away from my ears a little bit, because the noise is a little overpowering. So yes, this is going to be pretty refreshing to play, just because, um, why wouldn't it be? It's One Way Heroics Plus, and it's the English edition. And, you know, a lot of this stuff is pretty sure it's going to be not news to me, because I've been exposed to a lot of it already. But I do look forward to seeing all the changes, I guess, in English. Ooh, boy. And, yeah, these imps are like the worst thing on Earth to fight against when you are the hero. I hate the imp. But an even better uh, thing would be also, uh, oh. So, in the case of skeletons, your bare fist isn't going to do much against them. So. Uh, yeah, don't even try it. And, okay, yeah, that's right, uh, let's... Yeah, let's just bit smack these guys right here. Oh, I haven't played, uh, One Way Rogues in, uh, quite a long time, so it's gonna be a tree. It's gonna be quite a tree, and let's see, something got shattered. I could not read it, though. Oh, okay, so let's see here, so I think this is our Q. Q, Q. Of course, the problem's going to be we got these lizard dudes here. So let's see if we can just bypass this and save uh, Queen Frida the cheap way. I love uh, critical uh, chance reads, I guess, or critical hits. But I thank you for saving me. I'm in your debt. And please, God, say. Yeah, let's uh, hope you'll join me here. Because I could really use uh, free access to. Oh my god, we're actually short? I, I'm not trusted enough. Well, I'll be damned. Okay, I guess we're not going to be uh, doing stuff with her help then. And okay, this is not going out um, well at all. Okay, that was just that was a little ridiculous there. 
Alright, so I was hoping to kind of get green fruit on our side, but... I don't know, if they don't trust you, they just don't trust you. Eh, uh, you, you can attack them, why not? Well, you're not even going to win that, are you? Medicine, do you need any medicine? Let's see, I really... Weakness treatment. If a target is hit with this medicine, their body weakens and they lose 10 levels. Really no, that is interesting. It's all the small stuff you miss when you, uh, so, you know. Mentally I'm not going to understand 100% of the Japanese that I read. So there is going to be slight details I miss. So this is cool to um, actually see here. Yeah, I'll take the crumbs, that works. I'm always about the crumbs. See, do you know the difference between allies and cooperating NPCs? People who are fighting enemies with you are the same tile or allies. And da, 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 da. Yeah, okay. Guess that's all useful information, I suppose. Dark Noyuta fruit. Hmm. Let me read up on that. This rotting Noyuta fruit will recover 30% of your energy, but will also cause food poisoning. Those who love Noyuta fruit will gladly eat it. I already think of someone. Dozy. But now that this is like an official release and all, um, I'm curious if some things are going to be actually fixed up a little bit. Well, obviously it should be fixed, but... No, I, I think there's like been always been an NPC I have not been able to uh, actually see. Alright, don't die to a bear, for God's sakes, man. And we got ourselves a scroll of summoning. Dimensional gold coins, which is uh, nothing new. But let's uh, definitely unequip that, because we don't need it. We got our fists. And okay, we got a nice little ambush here. Great. And we shouldn't really have any trouble with the Demon Lord. Especially when we uh, go all Super Saiyan here. Senora, so now we've given up the ability to wear armor and equip uh, powerful equipment. Or swords, I should say. Alright, so let's uh, mop this up a little bit. So you're their hero they are babbling about. I will finish you off right now before you're able to grow in strength. Too late. You just see what I did? Super Saiyan, man. Okay, so I was hoping to have a little bit more files of healing here, but... Nope. Yeah, that's alright. Things will work out. Alright, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Why not? And he meditates, so get the heck away from him. And, wow, okay, this guy is... Yeah, an easy way to deter him from actually casting spells on you is just to move. But that's nothing new, I would say. If anything, that's boring information. But I already see a very easy uh, time ahead of us. Alright, so Summoned Beast has uh, gone away, and let's see the Demon Lord. I really can't tell if... Um, level this guy is at, so that's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and show off why this fight is really easy with the hero. Oh, one hour? Really? And I do not want to die, just in case. This monster is a friend. Using the deep benevolence that resides within heroes, this brainwashes one monster to fight for you. Ranges three tiles, no effect on monsters involved in the story or bosses. Interesting. Alright, and let's just mop this up a little bit because, well, I was hoping to get at least maybe a holy item in this run, but... Queen Frida just did not want to cooperate with us, nor trust us. <laughs> Who'd have thought? So the Demon Lord and Ryan confronted each other. 
I have passed through trial after trial to make it this far. I cannot allow myself to lose here. The Demon Lord's powers must be weakening as well, especially by redu uh, reducing his levels by 10. That kind of helped, I'm sure. And yes, uh, so usual typical thing. Pressure from the Demon Lord's attack is almost enough to force the hero back. I'm reading like a madman here. Can't get away in time. Best I can hope for now is a uh, draw. No, we don't accept draws, are you serious? So we find it in our hearts to get the full power and slaughter the Demon Lord. And see here, deep within the darkness, a huge, terribly huge dragon unfurls from its slumber. Next image is of Ryan heading to confront this new terror. Is this something the Demon Lord wanted me to see? Strangely enough, the Demon Lord's face of death still holds a satisfied mark. Smirk. Mark, I don't know why I wanted to say that. Oh yeah, you kill the Demon Lord and the darkness is held at bay, I guess, for a little bit. God, go 2,000 kilometers, then you'll find out how real stuff gets. Stuff. I like this, so they did change up the ending credits a little bit. It's finally time for my long overdue rest. Right now, all of the treasure in the world cannot compare to this one reward. Yeah, life. Upon awakening in a small village nearby, you, da, 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 da. after awakening, their party member explains everything. Summon beast. <laughs> oh, okay. Looks like it is my time to bid farewell. Call upon my powers again. That's funny, because we usually never hold, like, the summoning uh, creatures for that long. They always end up disappearing before they did anything useful. <laughs> That's funny. Please grant our hero some respite after all this crap he went through. That's funny though, I never had the uh, summoned creatures for that long. Always disappeared. That's interesting. I think you had a cheap house. Yeah, okay. I don't know why they would do that for us. Only saved the world after all, so... Could give us something a little bit better than a cheap house. Of course no one in the village realized their hero is living a quiet life among them. I guess that makes sense. Why would you want people pestering you? So it was just... Barely dodge destruction by the darkness that consumes so much of our world. So I guess this is a pretty nice introductory into the plus edition of this game. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have gotten their hands on it already. It hasn't released on Steam, I don't believe, just in playism. And of course that's six ninety nine to get it. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure how much of this is going to be news to people, but in case it is, you know, it's, this is just the beginning. And we got a whole lot more of this game to play. And if you're curious, if you do have a save already for the original version, you can convert that over into the Plus Edition as well. And then whenever the Steam version comes out, you can easily transfer that data to the Steam one and you know, pick up from there. So there's... You really don't lose anything, really. Beautiful dawn welcomes Ryan on their journey. Ryan looks into the clear sky, letting the image of the world saved from the brink of oblivion burn into memory before closing their eyes. Very nice ending. I, want, I am a Renoir. Remember that unzipping utility? Hmm. <laughs> boing boing. Now, I wonder how he got the idea to name these dimensions just a whole bunch of gibberish. Either he's very big into astrology or something. The, that's the only time I've ever seen like names like this being given to anything. But we're conqueror number 12? Son of a biscuits, man. So, value of assets, uh, triple S. Not bad. And we got Demon Lord's Crystal. And we have everything else from 
our One Week Heroics game as well, so we probably have a lot of holy items, actually. And we got 30... sweet. Now I have to go back and get everything that I used to have in the Japanese version. Alright. Uh, so let's see here, we have, we have a whole lot of junk here. Good junk, though. Vial of Healing, and... Well, we got two of them. That might be more useful than, let's say, this, or this. Let's get rid of that. Bring that over, and we have one more slot, so... Quality redstone. Alright, so that sounds pretty good. So apply these changes, and updated. If you heard a door opening, that's nothing. So that's not a bad way to start this uh, new playthrough. Uh, there we go, now possess five or more dimensional gold coins, so that's how you get the castle renovations. And... Okay, completed campaigns plus one, times one. Can now arrange castle residence followers of the Force Knight. Okay, so now we can already unlock the Force Knight if we wanted. Uh, let's see, castle residence medicine researcher. Sweet. I like you. I like you a lot. And we could post to Twitter, but why? Oh, there we go. We have all of our uh, pictures here. We got three more to go, though. But I guess this is show off quickly. Great work, because you gathered five or more gold coins, you can actually renovate that castle. So here we go, adding extension to the castle. And, let's see, we have 34, so... Heck, why not? Let's do this one, why not? Of course, it actually costs you gold coins to um, place a residence, so also remember that. And we only have one place, but... Okay, so Followers of the Force Knight, that is the first unlockable class we can do here. Knowledgeable man. Okay, he tells stories. He will talk to you when you want to learn things, or whether you don't want to learn things. A knowledgeable woman probably does the same thing. Yep. Oh, uh, carnivorous woman. Yeah. Yeah, so she'll give you a barbecue, so you can actually uh, cook up your meat. Shouting roots become a very uh, no, it becomes a recovery item. Said that the king grew them. Wouldn't it hurt to have some on you, right? Alicia the bard, she can change. Oh, this is I love that one. Oh, golden goddess altar and the medicine researcher. Okay, so unlocked when you win the final battle in the dimensional passageway. Okay. But I mean, if you use the hero class, you can pretty much get a lot of the special campaigns completed at a good rate. I guess for now, let's uh, let's add the Force Knight, and I guess we can just start off in the next episode by possibly going for the Force Knight. So. Thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!